So this is the Ziva Zero prototype. It's an octocopter. It has eight motors, uh, four on the top plane, four on the bottom plane. Over here, we've got the similar motor configuration. And then the pilot gets in standing up and he's, his head goes up there. He's got a very nice view out the front. It takes off vertically like this and then flies forward at 160 miles an hour, basically in Superman mode. Battery development has really been moving forward over the last decades at a pretty good pace. That has what has enabled cars like the Tesla to uh, become reality today. We are riding that same curve, but we are re recognizing that that same battery technology is going to allow us to power aircraft that make this kind of a craft very viable as we go into the future. The customers that we view right now are uh, first responders, medics that need to get onto the scene of an accident to, to treat trauma victims as soon as possible. Of course, the DOD has expressed interest in, uh, in resupply, ship to shore, uh, hot extraction kinds of applications. And then we've been approached by a number of uh, wealthy people that want to fly from their lake house to the city and also off of their yachts. So there's a lot of potential applications for the vehicle. We will make this uh, aircraft commercially available probably within two years, but it will be uh, unrestricted. It will be an experimental class and it, you'll have to have a pilot's license. In about 2026, we hope that we have autonomy built in so that there'll be the opportunity for anyone to fly it uh, because it'll be computer controlled.